with the theory of points in five straight games, but the Buffalo Junior Sabres should be a good test for them early in this season. Mitch Emerson almost opens the scoring here for the Fury. Rapid round attempt stopped by Joe Pianta. Taylor Best is going to win the battle for this puck behind the net here. He finds Mike Panowick and he is going to find the net pop in the water bottle. That is a gorgeous looking goal and it's one to nothing for the Fury. They break in here, three on one. Pianta gets across to keep this puck out. And Jeff Murray, it's second goal of the night. Keeps and keeps and good patience and he is going to score. That's going to make it three nothing and it's his sixth of the season. Jonathan O'Hara behind the net here. He is just going to get railroaded by Nico Gonzalez. He gets 2 and 10 for that head contact. A Buffalo would kill the minor, and then moments after that, Nick DeSimone stopped, but he jumps on the rebound, and that's going to be 3 to 1, and the Sabres have life. Under 2 to go in the period, Ryan Schmelcher, a step on Connor Hale, and he outweighs Fever. The Sabres creep back within 1. Moments later, though, Jeff Murray, he's got his third on the doorstep, but wait. Would you believe it? This one was whistled dead. The officials are usually spot on, but they absolutely plug the Fury on this particular play. Third period, Best pokes this one ahead. A chance shorthanded, but he stopped. The puck comes back to him. He's robbed again by a diving Mason Evans. He takes a high stick as well, and there's no call on the play. A couple of minutes later, Schmelzer is going to find... Pat Egan, he scores to tie the game at three after the Fury were ahead by three. This would go to a shootout. Derek McCormick, nice move to freeze Fever, slides it home, and it's going to come down to Taylor Best after that beautiful-looking goal to score and continue the shootout, but he is stopped. Buffalo takes two points, and the Fury, it's a bitter pill to swallow as they pick up just one point after having that 3 to nothing lead. The captain, Connor Hale, sums up the disappointment for his team. Uh, we really thought we had momentum going and a couple of bad penalties. They got a lucky, they got a lucky goal and uh, they really turned it around. We never were really able to get our stride back and uh, you know they got it in the third and then overtime didn't solve anything. They just capitalized in the shootout, which was really tough on us. Oh yeah, it's really good to be able to see and compare ourselves to the other top teams. We can see that we're able to compete with them. We know that we're going to be a presence in this league and uh, playing teams like Buffalo is really good to show that.